Once upon a time, in the United Arab Emirates, a bank was targeted by a group of cunning criminals. Using the latest technology, they could mimic the voices of legitimate business owners and trick a bank employee into transferring a large sum of money to a different account. The employee, believing he was conducting a regular transaction, transferred $35 million without raising any red flags. It wasn't until later that the bank realized they had been scammed. The authorities were notified, and an investigation was launched, but the criminals had already disappeared with the stolen funds. The bank heist using AI voice mimicry serves as a warning to all, reminding us of the importance of staying vigilant and always being on the lookout for suspicious activity. It is a story of a modern-day heist involving no guns, no masks, and no robbers. Instead, the criminals used a combination of artificial intelligence and cutting-edge technology to steal $35 million from a central bank. It is a story of how fraudsters use advanced AI to outsmart the best security systems and how banks are now forced to innovate to stay ahead of the curve. It is a story of the future of crime and the lengths fraudsters are willing to go to stay one step forward. It is a story of the unstoppable force of AI against the immovable object of security. People were worried about the impact of automation on their jobs. But as technology continued to advance, a new concern emerged, the threat to privacy and safety posed by deepfake technology. Deepfake technology allowed people to modify faces, voices, and appearances in videos, and while it brought new opportunities, it also brought unknown risks. In recent times, deep fakes have been used to commit fraud, causing harm to innocent individuals. People soon realized the dangerous potential of deep fake technology when misused. They were no longer afraid of losing their jobs to automation, but also of violating their privacy and safety by malicious actors. The incidents of fraud through deep fakes served as a wake-up call to the world reminding them of the importance of being cautious and responsible regarding new technology and its applications. And so, the tale of the rise of deep fakes and their dangers serves as a warning to all, reminding us to approach new technology with excitement and caution. Hello everyone, welcome to our newest video, where we will explore an actual case of fraudsters using artificial intelligence to rob a bank. In this video, we will be looking at how the fraudsters managed to bypass the bank's security systems, how they were able to collect data to use for their gain, and what the implications of this case are for the future of banking security. We will also examine how this case is part of a more significant trend of criminals using artificial intelligence to commit financial crimes. So please take a seat, relax, and dive into this fascinating story of bank robbers employing AI. The year was 2020, and the world was in the grip of a global pandemic. But while many people were struggling to make ends meet, a group of criminal masterminds was busy planning their next big heist. Their target was a large international bank with over $35 million in assets. The only problem was that they needed help to get past the bank's sophisticated security system. But the masterminds had an ace up their sleeve. They had developed a powerful artificial intelligence system that could identify patterns in the bank's security measures and then devise a way around them. Using the AI system, the masterminds could infiltrate the bank unnoticed and steal millions of dollars without setting off any alarms. All happened in 2020, when Hong Kong, a bank manager received a phone call from a familiar voice, a company director with whom he had spoken several times. The director had good news and a favor to ask authorizing transactions totaling $35 million to facilitate a corporate acquisition. Thinking everything was in order, the bank manager began making the transfers, but it wasn't until later that the bank realized they had been scammed. The voice on the phone was not that of the company director, but of a criminal who had used the technology to mimic the director's voice. The bank was left stunned, realizing they had fallen victim to a sophisticated scam. A man found himself caught up in a sinister plot. The fraudsters, armed with advanced technology, mimicked the voice of a company director to convince the man to transfer a large sum of money to Centennial Bank accounts in the U.S. 
The unsuspecting and trusting man authorized the transfer of $400,000, only to realize too late that he had been duped. He was a pawn in an elaborate scam, and the money was lost. The authorities in the UAE took swift action, reaching out to American investigators for assistance in locating the stolen funds. However, information was scarce, and no names of the victims or those involved in the scam were made public. The Dubai Public Prosecution Office, leading the investigation, remained silent, not responding to requests for comment. Martin Zellner, a lawyer based in the U.S., was contacted for his expert opinion, but he still needed to respond. The UAE investigating the heist because it affected entities within the country believes it was a sophisticated scheme involving at least 17 individuals that transferred the stolen funds to bank accounts worldwide. The director had exciting news. He had acquired a new company and needed the bank manager's help completing the transaction. He told the bank manager that he had hired a lawyer, Martin Zellner, to handle the deal and that the bank manager could expect to receive emails from both of them with the required amounts of transfers. The bank manager was in high spirits, excited to participate in such a significant transaction. He never suspected a thing, not even when emails from the director and Zellner confirmed the transfers. He transferred the entire amount, a staggering $35 million, to several accounts across the United States, thinking he was helping to facilitate a fair business deal. But little did he know, the bank manager was a pawn in a sophisticated scheme involving at least 17 individuals. The voice on the other end of the line wasn't the director, but a deep fake created with advanced AI technology. In a split second, the money vanished, leaving the bank manager and the authorities in the UAE stunned. The authorities sprang into action, launching an investigation into the heist. They soon discovered that this was not the first attempt of its kind. In 2019, in the United Kingdom, fraudsters tried to steal $240,000 from an energy firm using the same tactics, but their attempt was foiled when the fraud was detected in time. While artificial intelligence is likely to create a slew of new opportunities in the following years, the risks posed by technology are also quite serious. While the former receives more attention in the mainstream media, the latter also poses a significant threat as demonstrated by this scam case. The bank manager in the UAE received what he believed was a call from a trusted company director. The director had good news to share and a favor to ask. He explained that the company was acquiring and needed the bank manager to authorize some transfers to facilitate the process. The manager, familiar with the director's voice, approved the transfers without hesitation. Days passed and the manager began to suspect something was amiss. He soon learned that the entire conversation was a fabrication, a clever ploy by high-tech thieves who used artificial intelligence to mimic the director's voice and fool him into making the transfers. In the end, the manager was stunned to find that he had transferred $35 million to the wrong hands, and he was left to pick up the pieces and try to recover the stolen funds. In the heart of the bustling city of Dubai, a bank manager was going about his day like any other. He received a transfer request from the director of a prestigious firm. With written confirmation in front of him, he transferred a large sum of money, 35 million US dollars, to be exact, to several accounts across the United States. Little did he know, he had been the victim of a cunning high-tech swindle. The fraudsters had utilized cutting-edge technology, known as deep speech, to mimic the director's voice and dupe the bank manager into thinking the transfer was legitimate. This was just the latest instance of AI being used for fraud and cybercrime, with deep fakes, both audio and visual, becoming a fascinating and potentially dangerous development in the world of technology. As a former police officer turned cybersecurity expert, Jake Moore of ESET warns that the rise of deep fake technology presents a considerable threat to data, money, and businesses. Bad actors refocus their skills and resources to deceive those unaware of the dangers lurking in the digital world. Manipulation of audio, which is easier to organize than deep fake movies, will only increase in volume. 
Without education and knowledge of this new sort of attack vector and more robust authentication mechanisms, more organizations will fall prey to compelling dialogues. Once restricted to fictitious capers like mission, impossible, voice cloning is now commonly available. Various tech businesses are developing increasingly complex AI technology, from London's Aflorithmic to Ukraine's Respeacher and Canada's Resemble AI. In recent months, the late Anthony Borden's voice was synthesized for a documentary on his life, causing quite a stir. The robbery, which we now know about thanks to a recently discovered court record, occurred last January when the branch manager of an unnamed bank received a regular phone call. According to the court filing, the person on the phone claimed to be the director of a significant corporation with whom the manager had previously communicated, and they sounded exactly like them. We are currently on the verge of bad actors refocusing their skills and resources on leveraging cutting-edge technology to deceive people who are blissfully unaware of the realms of deep fake technology let alone their existence. And technology is indeed advancing and getting more prevalent. Veritone, a technology startup, said in May 2021 that it intended to commercialize deep fakes, allowing celebrities to give verbal endorsements without ever saying a word. Deep fakes, on the other hand, have raised several issues and warnings. Deep fakes, as seen by this theft, can generate a slew of issues in the hands of the wrong people. Still, there is no halting technology or progress, so the best we can do is persevere. The fraudsters that stole from a bank in the United Arab Emirates in 2020 have had a massive impact on the country's financial security. Not only did the fraudsters steal millions of dollars from the bank in question, but the incident has raised serious questions about the security measures in place to protect customers. This has left many people feeling vulnerable and insecure regarding banking in the UAE. The incident has also exposed the fragility of cybersecurity and the need for banks to improve their systems to prevent similar incidents from happening. This is especially true for a nation like the UAE, where much banking activity occurs online. The incident has highlighted the importance of cybersecurity and the need for banks to implement better measures to protect their customers' information. The impact of this incident has been felt throughout the UAE, and it serves as a reminder that no matter how advanced a country's security systems are, there is always the risk of fraud and theft. As such, banks and other institutions must take steps to ensure the safety and security of their customers' information. It is also crucial for people to be aware of the risks that come with digital transactions and to take steps to protect themselves. This includes being aware of the latest cyber threats and safeguarding their data. In conclusion, the theft of $35 million from a bank in the United Arab Emirates using AI-enhanced voice mimicry highlights the growing sophistication of criminal tactics in the digital age. The use of advanced technology to imitate the voices of bank employees shows the potential for AI to be used for malicious purposes. This incident warns the banking sector and law enforcement agencies to be vigilant and proactive in preventing such crimes. Additionally, it highlights the need for banks to invest in more robust security measures, such as multi-factor authentication, to protect their clients' assets. It is also essential for individuals to be aware of such threats and take appropriate steps to secure their financial information. Overall, this crime is a wake-up call for the need to stay ahead of the curve regarding security and technology. In this event, many scammers stole a large sum of money from a bank in the UAE. The fraudsters used a range of sophisticated techniques to steal the money. They first gained access to the bank's network by exploiting a vulnerability in its security. Once they had access, they carried out a series of actions to transfer funds from the bank's accounts to their accounts. They also used a phishing attack to access the bank's customer accounts and transfer funds. The fraudsters were ultimately able to steal a significant amount of money from the bank, and the local authorities are still trying to figure out how to get it back. This tragedy should be a wake-up call to everyone to be particularly cautious about their financial security. It is crucial to safeguard the security of your personal and financial information. Always use strong passwords that are difficult to guess and change them regularly.
It is also essential to be aware of phishing attacks and be careful when opening emails from unknown senders. In conclusion, the recent bank fraud in the United Arab Emirates reminds us of how important it is to be vigilant and secure our financial information. By following the above security measures, we can all ensure that our money is safe and secure. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have learned something from this video. If you found this video informative and want more content like this, hit the subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date on all the latest news and events in crime and safety. We appreciate your support and value your feedback. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We'll see you in the following video.